someone was requesting to do multi-style photo boxes in a single layout. And as you can see in this layout that I've created here, I have a portrait photo, I have a square photo, a landscape photo that's 4 by 3, and a portrait 3 by 4. These are the four different styles. And I'll show you, it is not easy to do, but it's possible. First thing you do is select your background image that is actually going to end up being an overlay type image, okay, and place blank boxes on the screen. These blank boxes are the exact sizes of a portrait layout, a square layout, a 4x3 landscape layout, and a 3x4 portrait layout photo box. These are the and these are image files that I've just added in here where I want to put the photos. Okay, you'd get them exactly where you wanted them to be. Okay. You got to make sure that you, you remember you're using a wide photo box layout, okay? When you're doing this and they have they cannot overlap because the wide photo boxes will cover up the other photo. So let me go into the next section to show you how that's done. Once you have the boxes placed, you would preview the image with no photo boxes. These are just the red boxes that are placed in there as representing where you're going to cut things out. So now that I've got that, I'm going to save this image file. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. So I'm going to go down here where it says Save As. And I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it. I'm going to leave the number on, just call it BK, BKG555. Just something so I can remember what it is. And I'm going to hit Save. I'm saving it as a PNG type file, not a JPEG, because I'm going to make those red boxes transparent. I'm going to click Save. Now that I have saved that image file, okay, I'm going to open it in another piece of software that I have that I can make those red boxes transparent. The program that I am using to make these boxes transparent is called Paint.net. You can get it on the internet. Just look for Paint.net. I click on the magic wand and I point to the first red photo box and I click it. And you'll notice it makes artifacts all around other areas, but you click up here and make it less, so it's only grabbing the red box and hit delete. Okay, once you hit delete, it turns it transparent, hit delete over here, it turns it transparent, hit delete over here, and so on and so forth for each one of these photo boxes. Okay? Then you save this file as it was named before, you can save it, at, and it's saved as a PNG file. Once you've saved it, okay, it will preview it on the screen so you can double check to make sure that the boxes are transparent. Now, back in the layout editor, we are going to create this layout starting from scratch. We're going to call a new layout, and I'm just going to name this ZZZZZ, okay? It's going to be a landscape layout with widescreen photo boxes. We are going to use different size photo boxes, but just for now, we're going to use that. Click OK. It brings up the blank screen. I bring in that background image that I used before, and that is going to be this one right here. But I'm going to bring in the one that has the transparency as a background. And click Open. This way I know where the photo boxes need to be. So I'm going to grab one, one photo box, and first photo box is going to go right here. Now I would zoom in to make sure that I can see it a lot better, and scroll over to see it on my window. And now I need to make this photo box the same size as that other box, keeping the number one in the middle of the photo box, and bring it up so that it touches the top. Now let me zoom it back out so you can see that doesn't touch any of the other photo boxes. I'm going to bring in a second photo box and make it smaller so that it fits over here by the number 
two photo box that I had down here. And I want to make sure that that number two is going to be right in the middle. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit bigger and move over to the side so you can see it. And I want to make sure it's covering the box, but behind it. Because it will eventually be behind this image, which is the background right now. And I'm just going to move it straight up, make sure it's in the center. The number two is in the center. And it's right there. Now I'm going to bring, zoom it back out again, bit screen, bring in box number three. And this one needs to be as big as that one right there. So I need to make this bigger and move it over. And you'll notice it's not overlapping into the number one photo box. And bring in the fourth photo box, which is number four right here. It only needs to be the height of that photo box. And I'm going to place it right here in the middle. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background image. I'm going to bring in the overlay image, but not over here. I'm going to bring it in as an image file. Okay, so this I'm bringing in it as an overlay image, and now it's covering it up. Okay, but you can see the number one isn't centered, so I need to push this one that I have here now, which is in an overlay. I'm going to put it to the back, move this one over a little bit, Okay, and send that to the back. Send that to the back. Send that to the back. And send that to the back. So now when we preview this, you'll see that the four photo samples fit perfectly. If they were lined up perfectly. I'm going to hit pause here. So as you can see, it looks like it fits perfectly, but if I look closely here, it looks like this one here needs to be adjusted, which means the photo box itself has a little line at the bottom. So I need to re-put re that in the right spot by grabbing, I thought I seen it here, and I'm going to send this to the back first, bring number three down a couple notches. Now take everything else to the back. Okay, so now it would be perfectly fitting on the screen. So as you can see here, they now fit perfectly on the screen, no lines underneath them. Okay, so that's how that part is done. Next, you'd need to get out of the layout editor and go into the screen overlays, only because on screen, they need to know where they're going to stand for each one of these photo boxes. So in screen overlays, you would need to create a multi-style overlays that cover up the areas. And I've made boxes. The first one is a portrait. The second one is a square. The third one is a 3 by 4 portrait. And the bottom one is a 4 by 3 landscape. And these are... They don't need to be mirrored, they don't need to be applied to the photo, but you number them accordingly to where they are in your layout. Photo 1 was portrait, photo 2 was square, photo 3 was so on and so forth. Okay, if you wanted the photos, because when it's done, it will do four, they'll all be th uh, wide photos in the original photos. If you applied this to the photo, as I'm going to do for this sample that I'm showing you, you will see it will be bordered by black. Here we go. Now we're going to actually Five, do the layout. Four, I'm going to press start. Three, the first photo box is a regular one. portrait, as you can see here. Five, I got my hands four, here, and it's three, portrait. Smile. Two, one. Five, four, the next photo box three, is square. It's got a little wider. One. Okay. But this is Five, the area they need four, to stand in three, and another, in your two, window. One. Five, four, the next one three, is a portrait two, three one. by four Five, style. Four, three, one more. Two, one. And the Five, last one is a four, landscape three, four, four two, by three style. One. Five, four, Wait a minute. And you'll notice when two, we do the preview of the photo boxes, 
they will all have black borders around them like they were shown there because we applied it to the photo because that's the actual photo that's in the layout. Obviously, I don't have the right lighting. This is not my photo booth. This is my desktop unit. And the layout has all Thanks. of them perfectly, as you can see here. Okay? Thanks. That's pretty much how it's done. And this is the actual photo, so you see a sample of how it was actually done. I do have the overlay screens that you could utilize in the screen overlays when you need them. Uh, I have the colored photo boxes that you would use to place your photo boxes, and all of this would be available. All you need to do is give me a yell, and I will send that all to you. But it is complicated, and I'll be honest with you, I would not play with that. It's too much work. That's it.